Come on in, hustlers. Let's have dinner. How y'all doing? Y'all ready? I'm ready. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Come on. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with me. This hood girl to the hood. Hey, y'all. I'm so glad y'all here. Let's say prayers real quick. Thank you, Father God, for this another day. Thank you for loving us and keeping us. Thank you for just bringing us through the night and getting us through this day and loving us and blessing us with what we need and forgiveness, forgiveness, Lord, and mercies and grace. Just have your way, Lord. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. I'm glad y'all here, y'all. We we have some pasta and some corn. It's hot to y'all. That's what it is. Some seasoned corn with bell pepper, onion, and garlic, and uh, salt and pepper, and a little sugar, and spaghetti, uh, and the meat sauce. So this is for a good day, a good night. Have fun and love your family. So salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers, y'all. Let's start this timer. Y'all, yesterday I was recording and my camera got black three times. So we're going to see, y'all, but I'm ready to eat. I am so ready. Uh, I got Frank's hot sauce on board, on deck. Yes, I finally bought some, and it is good. And so that commercial say, uh, Frank's hot sauce, you can put this shit on everything. It's true, it's good. I was looking at lips, though. Lips, lips kept saying how good it was, so I bought it. Yeah, y'all. Y'all want the first bite? I'm going to tell y'all what I did today. I got a message from my managers in the office, y'all. They do not want me to move. There you go. Yum, yum. Give me some. So, y'all, they wanted me to come take pictures with Santa. It's on, it's on my community page, y'all. Me and Santa had a good talk. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So oh, good. Mm. And I added some um, Italian sausage in, in here as well as ground beef. Chuck, Chuck that is. Y'all, it's the week for Christmas. Um, where y'all going? If y'all going out of town on the bus, the train, the car, comment below. And I'm going to pray for traveling grace for you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's good. I talked to mom today. She is doing three slabs of ribs, brisket, sausage, lasagna, potato salad, baked beans for Christmas. <laughs> All that food. And y'all know I said I want to do some gumbo. I may not even do it. Mama got all that food. I can bring some of that food home for two days. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I found this bread at the store because uh, on Christmas Eve, I'm doing my chitratory board. So I found these baked, the small, these, I'm going to uh, toast them. And we can put the jam and salami and all the other stuff. That we're gonna do so I, I thought I was gonna taste it with my spaghetti so let's do that what's the harm because <laughs> it's a lot of bread did I tell you I made some uh tuna fish the other day it was bomb y'all I'm trying to open it sometimes they close these packages like they don't want you to open it you know what I mean so we're gonna get this open then we got to put that garbage out. Okay, yeah, here it go. Yeah, it's that. It's sour though. Mm. 
No, it's French baguette. But it, it smells like sourdough. Yeah, this this is supposed to be on the chartery board. <laughs> We're going to see what it tastes like, y'all. I don't know. But I got some jams and mustards uh, to be on the board, y'all. Mm-hmm. Some different cheeses. Mm-hmm. I forgot to pick up some grapes. Mm, yeah, no. Mm-mm. I'm gonna just put my spaghetti. <laughs> uh-uh. Mm -mm. It's gonna be good with that dried ham, dried salami, and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. After I toasted, that is. Yeah, so I'm excited about it. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm hmm it's good. I'm gonna some more hot sauce. Y'all, I'll tell you, relationships are so taxing. Mm. I just want to know, and this and this for both, uh, Females and males. Why do y'all, why do we cheat? Why do, why do we cheat? That's the, that's the question. Why? What makes you cheat? If you're not happy, close the door before you open up another one. So many people are hurting, you know? I had a conversation last night about people who cheat. And uh, they go outside the house and whomever they're cheating with, you don't know if they're going to catch feelings. And some people don't know how to deal with them feelings. And then they come and, and, and want to shoot your wife or your husband because they want you for themselves. Mm-hmm. I do not like that with that. Put that down. Honey. Mm -mm, it ain't worth it for me. I saw a documentary. It was a black couple. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. Her husband, her boyfriend, it was her boyfriend, not her husband. He chose to step outside of their relationship and sneak. And there was a lady. She fell in love. And she wanted him to herself. Like I said, she came to that woman's house. That lady was about to get in her car and go to work. And that lady shot her 17 times. Hmm. She wanted her off the picture. But God didn't let her die. She got a lot of issues though, y'all. Health issues. She walk with a walker now. At 27 years old. And where the man at? The girl is in jail for life. But where the man at? He left her. You caused that on her. And because now she don't have the health that she did, you left her? You... Y'all, what I want to say, I can't say on YouTube, but y'all already know. If y'all know me, y'all know exactly what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. People, men and women, be careful who y'all sleeping with outside of y'all marriage. Shit, they don't even have to come to your house. They can be mad at you and hire somebody to kill you. Because <laughs> they don't want to see you with nobody else. How about that? People better think because pe people mindset is different today. They kill today. They kill today. They do not fight fair. 
And it shouldn't be fighting anyway if you keep your ass at home. Both of men and women. I ain't just talking about the men. I'm not just talking about the women. I'm talking about both of y'all. Mm. Stop that foolery. You know, I think the problem is, some of the problem, because when you're dating, in the first four months, six months, you have so much fun. And then when it goes over, you may fall in love, and then y'all stay together, and then you get too comfortable. When you're mad, you don't want to have sex with them. When you're mad, you want to make them sleep on the couch, and whatever it is y'all do, or you want to get in your car and drive and be gone all goddamn night. Nobody wants to fight for the real stuff. Mm. So the cop out, let me uh, get some temptation and start dating somebody else while I'm in this relationship. Selfish. I know how to move around, y'all. When I'm done with you, I, I'm a, first of all, I'm going to let you know that our time is over. This, our season is over. When I'm done, I'm done. But my partner going to know and I'm going to move my ass on. I'm, I'm going I'm to move around. Yeah. That's what you do. I told y'all this other day. Y'all haven't saw the video yet, though. A man came home just, what, two days ago? And his man had another man in the house. To listen at the tone of that man's voice as he's screaming and hollering and mad as hell, I felt the pain. I've been there. It, y'all, you shouldn't do that to one another. Take your ass on if you're done. And I don't know how to say it nice. Or uh, nicer than that. Move around. Pack your shit and go if you're done. And what we have is not strong to fight for. Bye. And I think a lot of people are afraid to be alone. Let's talk about me, the hood girl. My loneliest season is this season, holidays. Every woman, and some men, I don't know how men think, we want somebody to share with, especially for New Year's. But I've been here several times. Now I know what to do not to fail or not to fall, you know, or not to get into a, what they call it, a... Um, Depression state of mind. Keep loving yourself. Do the things that you love. Have fun with your life by yourself. Y'all know I do. It's nothing for me to put some old school music, old school music on. If it's the day that I, I have a cocktail and I'm going to be in here dancing and singing out tune out loud. And some of my neighbors will tell you the same. Because I'm sure I sound awful <laughs> on the other side of that door. Mm -hmm. But I know how to go through it by myself now. Mm -hmm. 
And you got to pray. You got to pray, pray without ceasing. You just got to continue to pray, 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 pray. God got you. He going to give you just what you need to get through it. Mm-hmm. Period. I'm a conqueror. Remember the word? I'm a conqueror through Jesus Christ. Through. Oh yeah, I'm getting full. All this talking and eating pasta. <laughs> but that was that's something I, I wanted to talk about. And I'm not done talking about it. We're going to have some conversation about this. So, if you want to talk about it, tune in. Comment below. Do what you do. Tell me how you feel about it. If it were you. Mm -hmm. I did put something on my uh, Instagram page that said, uh, what if you had a man that doesn't make good love to you, would you stay? What would you do? Would you stay? Would you go? <laughs> but he's a good man. and But the love making it sucks. But if he's a good man that can take care of you and, you know, do good with you. Would you stay or would you go? <laughs> if I have to answer that question, I can't stay. Sex is like the second thing important to relationships after money. Finances. I need good sex. I need good, good, good. I, I need some sex that make my ass want to cry. That's what I need. <laughs> I need some good stuff. I'm going gi to give it back. <laughs> for real, for real. So yeah, I, I won't stay with nobody if the sex is bad. I don't even call them no more. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. We got two minutes, y'all. Can I can I finish this? I don't know. I'm full. <laughs> My leasing uh, office people told me the day they love me. <laughs> That's that breath, y'all. I am full. Mm hmm. I can't eat no more. I'm done. Hmm. That was a lot on my plate, though, y'all. But I'm almost done. I can't eat no more. Yeah, we're going to cancel that time. Y'all ready to sing? I am. I got a show coming on in 30 minutes. So I can clean up the kitchen and be seated when it come on. Excuse me. Oh, y'all, excuse me. Y'all ready to sing? I'm ready. Come on, choir in the back. I hope y'all sung good for the Lord today. Mm -hmm. Come on, choir in the front. I know y'all did. So, let's sing. Whew. I'm so stuffed. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this day, do it with love. Purpose. That's it. That's all. It's easy and it's free. Night, night. <laughs>